All right, so in my mess here, got a low power TP link, <clears throat> high power card, 30 dB attenuator, uh, measured 0.7 milliwatt output. Actually, let's test that again. I measured it yesterday, I want to be sure. All right, data rate of four, 30 dB attenuator, and 0.6 milliwatt on the transmission side. <clears throat> All right, got a low power card. Down, up, down, up, down, middle, up, down, middle. Well, since the weather's terrible here, this is about the best testing that we can do. Got a TP-Link W722N card that um, down here. The antenna is barely hanging on. I'm trying to degrade the signal because, believe it or not, with a 30 dB attenuator outside it's, it, and this antenna down here, the signal still looks really good. So I'm trying to capture as best as I can the servo movement on an Elevon. I'll move this and try to get the... Gosh darn it. Try backing up a little. These videos are hard to do. Okay. So it's showing 4.6 megs up there. I'm just going to move this antenna a little to try to get a drop out. There we go. It's 0.11. It's going into fail safe on the edge of losing link there. It's good. And I'll still try to move this. See if we catch a glimpse of the stick moving. Oop, we take it out of fail safe. Put it back in the manual. There we go. God, I hope this video comes out all right. And if you're noticing latency, it's this TV. There's about 50 milliseconds of latency off the HDMI cable uh, to this TV for some reason. Let's 
try to get a drop out. There we go. 0.2, that's good. Uh, the megabits up top there. All right. Still got our flight modes. Yep. I'm not sure how long into the into a dropout you should still re uh, retain RC control. See it wanted to fail safe there. Still have telemetry uh, on the screen. Let's see if we can get some of our video back. There we go. By the way, this is 0.7, that's less than one milliwatt measured attenuation from upstairs. It's an RTL, that's why I'm not getting the movement. All right, one more time. That's pretty amazing considering the video is transmitting out in my garage upstairs. Um, 0.7 milliwatts to just a single receiving card. That is pretty impressive. There's one in the fail safe. But the way the weather is outside, that's about the best I can do to test. That movement that's happening right now, that's just the aircraft, the GPS causing the servos to move around. Uh, okay. Got a six position flight mode switch there. Seem to figure out what's going on with this here. Everything else is working well.